I hope that's not on the screen, but I'm not re-recording it because brilliant story. <laughs> Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denanyo and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about the book, Queenie. The author of the book is Candace Cardi Williams. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature. We're gonna jump right into it because I will tell you the entire plot of this book. I absolutely adored it. My favorite quote in the book is from Cheska. I'm gonna put the spelling here. I will, I'll be honest and say, I had to listen to the audio book just to learn how to pronounce this word. I would not look at this and hear Cheska, but it is pronounced Cheska. <laughs> so one of the most important quotes in the book comes from Cheska where she says, you can be any kind of black girl you want to be. Okay, so now that quote is so important to the story because this book is all about judgments. Judging yourself, judging other people, judging relationships, judging things you don't know. So you have Queenie who's going through a break and she doesn't know how to cope with the fact that her feelings are hurt from her breakup. She starts to date, she starts to hook up with men, she starts to do all these things, which then causes her friend, Cassandra, to judge her, ends up calling her all kinds of names, all kinds of things. And Cassandra's even judging Queenie. Cassandra makes a statement in the book where she says, sure, I'll loan you some money, but where's your other money? Savings, all of that, that is uncommon for younger black people, <laughs> okay? Queenie made that be known. Girl, it's not a given that I have savings. And then you find out later that Cassandra comes from this great Jewish home and her dad helps her with most of her bills. She lives with her dad and you're just like, well, yeah, you do have a lot of disposable income. Queenie does not. But then Queenie is judging her mom. Her mom absolutely broke her heart. There were a number of things that happened where Queenie's mom just did not live up to what Queenie thought a mother should do. And Queenie's never raised a child. So Queenie, you don't know. So she was judging her mom without knowing, without walking through the mama's shoes. And then lastly, <laughs> this cannot be understated. Queenie loves, but she judges her grandparents hardcore. If you grew up with, with a grandparent who was really conservative, tells you you can only take a bath for 10 minutes, tells you, you know, you gotta come downstairs and eat and then hurry up and go wash your bowl. Like the story about the grandparents was so reminiscent for me. I was like, man, I miss my grandma. Because it's things that grandparents do that they can get away with just because they've lived so long. <laughs> because they are the parents of your parents, they can get away with so much. But let me tell you, the grandpa and the reason why he doesn't want to drink, but then he ends up being one of Queenie's biggest allies, but Queenie had to get over the judgment she had from them. Oh, you guys are old school. Oh, you don't understand. Oh, back when things cost three pounds. And so when Cheska says, you can be any kind of black girl you want, that was one of the starting points for Queenie to say, you're right, is what I'm doing right now what I want and how would I change it, okay? So, a brilliant, brilliant story. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Brilliant story. <laughs> it's really, really important that you can be any kind of a girl that you want, right? Don't judge yourself. Don't judge what you think you should do. Don't judge what you think you shouldn't do. Be the person that you want to be, okay? Bonus, because sometimes I'll give you a bonus. There's a word that I've been using for at least the last six years, and the word is mazungo, okay? My husband is Ghanaian and his best friend, best man, really close friends to the family is Rwandan and they always say Mazungo and they'll say, oh, is it a Mazungo? Meaning white person or white girl in this book, in this case. I've never seen it in print and I, I felt, I felt really proud. I was like, wow, when they say representation matters, I'm for it because the word Mazungo is in a book. <laughs> so would I reread this book? Yes. In fact, when I started Kyla's Reading Day, I immediately started thinking about books that I've absolutely loved that I've already read. And I had actually read this 121 weeks ago. So thank you for hanging out with me today as we review the book, Queenie. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That really does help you to share the book reviews with other people. It helps them get it out there to other people who enjoy books, other people that enjoy book reviews. So thanks for hanging out with me today on Kyla's Reading Day. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.